What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My shirt for she leave. I'm gonna need my shirt back. <laughs> Alright y'all, so as y'all can see by the title of today's video, today I will be showing how I maintain my Brazilian Water Wave wig at night. Before we get into this video, I wanted to say that this video was actually sponsored by I See Hair Beauty. They were kind enough to send me this cute Brazilian 24 inch Water Wave wig and it is so pretty. Let me show y'all the length real quick. Here's the length and it's... 24 inches when it's wet it looks way longer than this it's like dried up right now but yeah this is the length of whatever <laughs> but anyways when they sent me this wig it came in this cute little box that says icy hair beauty on the icy hair princess actually and then when you open it it comes with this cute little inside like marble font and it is so pretty y'all and in the box it comes with like this little thing where you can like contact them and their website at icyhair.com also came with a wig cap elastic band and these cute little lashes in the box on the little card let me read to y'all what this is it says brush your hair gently wash hair regularly apply conditioner and oil and air drop on a wig stand but that's if you like one of those type of people who take your wig on and off but i actually got this wig installed so i won't be taking it on and off but when i do get it like uninstalled that's when i'll like you know wear it every now and then but this is a really cute wig and i love it so much the exact link to this wig will be in the description box below so y'all can go ahead and go get that and also use my code school 10 right here somewhere on the screen to get seven dollars off of your purchase they also have a 32 percent off discount or sale or whatever going on on their website so you can get you a 32 percent off wig so girl go ahead use my code and also get your 32 percent off back to school sale on your wig and um yeah i hope i mentioned everything and if i didn't everything will be in the description box down below so go check that out because that's where all the information will be to this wig and also other wigs you can purchase from the icherebeauty.com website without further ado let's go ahead and get straight into this video okay so the first thing i do to this wig is detangle it before i put any water or any moisturizer on it because i want to make sure that i don't have any tangles i do detangle it by sections so it won't shed i'll take like a little piece like this and then i just kind of brush the ends out a little bit you know just to make sure there's no tangles or anything before i start spraying my hair Um, my water bottle isn't full right now, so let me go ahead and just put a little bit more water in here so we can have enough for all this hair. Okay, so after I'm done detangling it, I start spraying my hair, and I also do this in sections. I know it may seem like a lot of like a lot going on, but I promise y'all it's worth it in the end because your curls will be coming out popping with this routine. So. So I just first start off with a small section, like probably about this much. This isn't small, but y'all get the point of what I'm trying to say. But I just make sure I keep all the dry hair to the front so I won't get it mixed up with the other one. Go in with my spray bottle and I just, you know, spray away. And you want to get it super drenched before you start brushing because if you brush while it's dry, it will shed. So just make sure you spray it through me and this hair does not shed that much at all but I just be like extra cautious of like you know having the hair really down before you start brushing like I promise you I haven't had any problems with this hair okay put this part in a ponytail so we can get out of my way because screw Thank you. 
Okay, so as you can see, here's the first section. This is how it looks. It's very damp and as you can see, the curls aren't as defined right now, but after I put all the product and stuff in the curls, they will get more defined. So you just want to do that to the rest of this side of the hair. And I will be back with y'all once I have this whole entire style like drenched. Uh, can you play that again? Yeah. Lady slow walking. <laughs> Okay, so I'm officially done with this side of the hair. Well, not done, but y'all know what I mean. Like, I got this whole side wet, and as you can see, like, the difference between the puffy and the wet side is, like, crazy. Like, see how much longer it looks? But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go do the other side. And I also forgot to mention, this is an ear-to-ear -ear closure. So like, you can like do your edges any kind of way you want. And baby, it's giving very much scalp. Like, don't play, don't play. Okay, so now that I got the hair completely drenched, I look like a wet dog, but that's okay. And I go in with some of this Carefree Curl Gold. You can get this from any dollar store, any family dollar, Dollar General, Beauty Supply even. I haven't been to the Beauty Supply, but I always get this from the Family Dollar. And you want to go in with some of this, it's like a curl activator. And you just want to rub it in and then just go through it. Take your hands, just... Just define the curls with your hands. You don't really have to put too much either. And then you just want to do the hair like this. Kind of scrunch it up a little bit. And you want to do that to both sides. And then your curls should look very defined. I'm going to get up close. It's like a wave pattern. It's super cute. So now after I'm done defining the curls, um, I'm about to go in with some of my totally twisted mousse. This is actually a new brand and I'm going to try this out. And I just go in with a little bit because you don't want it to dry your hair out or anything like that. But with this hair, I'm not really that afraid of it drying out because it's some really, really good hair. And I just go in on both sides with the mousse. And you don't need a lot at all because the curls are already defined right now. So you just don't need a lot. Okay, so now once I'm done defining all the curls and using the mousse and doing all that good stuff, I just go ahead and put my hair in three three twists. I do three on this side, three on this side. So six twists in total. You can do like plaits, but I prefer doing twists because it's way better and easier to take down in the morning and it's not that much of a hassle. And I'm going to insert a picture of how it looks when it's all defined and curled up. And yeah, y'all can see you. It's giving baddie. It's giving. We're going to go ahead and do the three plaits on each side and I'm going to be back. Okay, so now I am finally finished doing my twist. This is how it looks in the back. And this is the front. So next, I'm going to go in with my satin scarf. And this is going to be for my edges. I don't like using any cloth stuff on my edges when I have wigs. Because 
it kind of makes them dry out so you want to use a uh, satin things to tie your hair up and then I just do a bow in the back I'm about to use a do-rag to keep the top part flat because you don't want to wake up and your edges lay and then the top part all sticking up because that's ghetto. I have my do-rag on, I have everything on, and we're going to finish it out with my bonnet. Grab my three braids on this side and just put it under there like so. And just put them all under the bonnet. Alright y'all, so that is the finishing product for this hair tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And thank you Icy Hair Beauty again for sending me this wig. I really, really love it. It's one of my favorite wigs so far. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social medias. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.